Hey guys, Greg and Stacy with Keizu Keto here. Welcome to our next adventure in our truffle life. We present to you truffle ice cream sandwiches with homemade ice cream and I believe this one is the No Judgment from the Killer Whale Creamery. Killer. Killer. My mistake. <laughs> um, and then we also have this wonderful new trick contraption here uh, made by Dash that makes waffle bowls. No judgment, killer whale creamery. Killer whale creamery. <laughs> yes. And homemade ice cream as well. Mm -hmm. Homemade keto ice cream, I should say. Yes, homemade keto ice cream. All right, so this is a really cool contraption that we picked up on Amazon. Um, I think it retails for like $20. You bought it, I don't know. Yeah, it's like $20, I think. But so you can make ice cream bowls with it. Um, which, we made chocolate ice cream bowls. The, yeah, these are made out of chocolate. Um, and the recipe for this will be down below. And I think Stacy's gonna throw it on the screen as well. Um, so you can make it with this, or you can also use this maybe for like a taco bowl or... Taco bowl, we used it last night to make, well, I made a cage for my burger bowl. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of different options that you can do with this. Taco salads would be fantastic, I think. Mm -hmm. um, you could do a regular salad. I'm gonna make a breakfast scramble with this. Mm -hmm. I think that's gonna be cool to make, make a normal like fat head dough type deal. Um, the quantity is a little different than the, the chocolate makers, so you kind of have to play with that a little bit, but luckily our recipes are gonna be calculated for that. So yeah, let us know if you're interested in more recipes on using something like this. But this video is all about the chocolate recipe. Chocolate. Because right? who doesn't like chocolate? That's right. Chocolate, chocolate. Yeah. I like chocolate. What are you talking about? Throwing me under the bus. I love me some chocolate. I just gotta be He's the right kind of chocolate. He's not a sweets guy. He's no. more of a sweet I mean, I like chocolate. So that's why I can eat dark chocolate, I think. So making these things couldn't be simpler. Stacy perfected a recipe for making these. Um, she made it her own. Um, and it works for both the, the bowl maker and also the waffle maker. This could be easier. Um, these ice cream sandwiches look amazing. Um, and this is, like I said, a homemade ice cream that we, we made. Oh, we, we have uh, a Dash ice cream maker that you put away. It's a, it's a My Pint ice cream maker. And this is what we use to make the homemade ice cream in, which mm -hmm. is melting like crazy. It's funny because it's super hard in the beginning and then like melts like crazy where this was kind of holding more of its form. So this is what we use to make the homemade ice cream. Um, and this is actually lower carb than the killer whale ice cream, mm -hmm. even though it's not two carbs because it's made with coconut milk. So if you guys are interested in that recipe, let us know down below. We're happy to walk you through the process of making it with your My Point, which these are actually pretty cheap. They're like 20 bucks. Yeah. And there's two ways you can make it. You can make it with um, the attachment that goes in here, which comes with it and spins, or you can just use a spoon and constantly stir it. And these, are, and these go right into the freezer. So pretty cool, uh, pretty cool stuff. But let us walk you through the process of making this. We're gonna do sort of a, a faster time-lapse-ish video uh, incorporating uh, basically the measurements and all that other stuff. And it'll also be a link down below. So let's do that. And then we'll get back and we'll do some taste testing. All 
All right, so these are also the spoons that come with my pint. So putting these ice cream sandwiches together couldn't be easier. Um, you just have to basically do the, the waiting game. You have to uh, let the ice cream come up to close to room temperature. Not room temperature. Close, it needs to melt a little bit. You gotta be able to work with it a little bit. Yeah, 15, 20 minutes is usually good enough. You slice it, um, take it out of the container, slice it, and you can make a nice little slice out of it. Now this one we did a little different. This one we had the ice cream in the container. Yep. And I used a cookie cutter to slice it and it's perfect size. Perfect. For that. So that'll be linked down below as well, as well, well all these pieces. So if you're interested in picking out for yourself, we got you covered. All right, so we taste test this? Yes. All right, so I'm gonna pick this up. And it's a bowl, you don't really need the plate, but in case you have issues. And obviously the ice cream I've had before, so. I'm just diving right into the bowl with yeah. the ice cream. And then you can kind of pick the bowl apart if you want, or you can eat it with it, however you want to do it. So good. The homemade ice cream is, in my opinion, much better. She doesn't like mint. Well, even if we made it homemade and mint, it would probably taste better. But like, this is an amazing treat. So this was really good. I mean, if you're doing an OMAD, it would be a great way. Right. Because this has the coconut milk. Yeah. This would be a great way to get your um, get your fats in. Fats and for calories sure. in. All right, I'm gonna try one of these ice cream sandwiches. I've been waiting for this. So this is this is exciting. So as you can see, it's it's about the right size for an ice cream sandwich. Okay. It's super yummy. She's like super stoked. Yeah, you can see, uh, I mean, it's holding together perfect. The chaffles um, are still cold, but they're um, they're still pliable. Like they're not frozen solid, which doesn't take too long, like 15 minutes out of the freezer and you're ready to eat this thing. Yeah, because when we assembled these, we put them together and we put them back in the freezer for a little bit. I want to eat ice cream all day now. <laughs> so good. She's super happy and super scary. We're making these things a lot. The bowls are awesome too. Mm -hmm. You can kind of do it both ways. It's like just eat, put it all in your face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like doing a happy dance over here. Yeah, she's like, this is so good, it's so nummy. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that was that's vanilla that we made in this. Um, nice. And the recipe, I tweaked it a little bit, but we, We'll, we can definitely throw that down below too if you guys are interested in that. And like I said, we can do some additional videos on the ice cream maker. If you guys are interested, let us know. Uh, we're definitely gonna probably do some more videos on this because we wanna incorporate some taco salad options and stuff like that for you. Mm -hmm. But I think that's it for us. Yep. So if you guys like this video, please give smash the thumbs up for us. Subscribe if you're not already. Click the bell, turn the bell on for notifications. So Also let us know if there's any other Shuffle waffle chuffle recipes you want us to try out. Yeah, we're really enjoying um, making these. It's a lot of fun. And I'm sure we'll be eating a lot of these ice cream sandwiches and these bowls. The kids, uh, kids like them as well. So definitely uh, let us know if you want to see more of those. But until next time. Stay keto. See you guys.